Mwero ri nena mudhikereria wakwa nenda kunyitoge ni orege Dheine wa mitabo ya Ezra Christian TV Nejoe kai wa muoni ya kuigete wega Na nigueda kukaribisha dheine wa tavarere no ya ohega otore Noyo ni bazu Charles waga shushana jeri Na hao mwode ntoge na iruon ni mwode ni wetago barak Nimurari kana torari na show, torari agiri yohoro wa identity crisis na tutiare kirie. Noni gire unituko da guthi na abere na niari yohoro wa blocks idha dhatu. Noni gire yohoro wa blocks inya na moyari odhaka tiduke hoshie na identity ya tuateni odhaka. Wakere ni korea umete background. Wagata tu ni design. Wata ukoro origishe hirio ni adu mede temubira. Na weto du duede temubira ukaigu wakata utagiri ili ukoro ya hamwe nao. Rushu ni odu wagiru ukoro dukone ati we du wagiri ili. Noni gyome nyati we gayako bire na odu wakua mwanya. Na odu ugetweka kira adhimo onakure na ashu wagi makurigishe hili. Na odu wakana ni guo au giri ati background kurea umete duka ugagea te tore kristo dhini omadi ko mudu wa rili heo du mwega wanagushe ni murutu wa mwe wa umete weta guo bathlomeo o rili heo du mwega o gima nazareth tutike heo shagina kurea tu umete kana kurea adu aretu ita ino nao tumenyate gai ni atu fagire mifangu mwega udu ugetu kurea tuike better persons na niguo mugia ni witu ure tuwe na kio mwode baraku. Araho ta kutu taariria. Na kutu taadatu ure ya tuagiru ukuro tukikara. Niguo oko wedhi ino wa identity crisis. Wehere, you open up a new chapter so that you can be able to move. Kwa guo, niguo na ku mwenye ito ogeni. Mugia ni witu baraku. Na niguo atu tuaridhie au hagi hare tuwa tigere hile. Atuwa nye blocks isho higi gire ni hile ku. Tushoke tu ni tuwa kwa 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 Yes, Bwana Barak. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Ulifanya zile four blocks. Mm. Yeah. Sasa tuendele kwa the second block, the, the sixth, the fifth and the sixth. And this, okay, mm. thank you. Maybe for those who want to join sai, mm. na itua Barak, Obara ni meokoka, na toka nafanya kazi na an organization which is faith-based called Transform Nations, mm. where we just focus on equipping uh, leaders in the family, marketplace and in the community. Uh, to impact the area of influence for uh, national transformation and we do that through uh, personal uh, growth. So we start with the person, so this person goes out and uh, influences the community, influences the family and the marketplace. And today we are just here with my brother talking about this identity crisis. Mm. In part one we had looked at the building blocks of uh, the identity and we started by uh, appearance, mm. we went to uh, background, went to community and design. design. And today we are just picking it up from there. Yes. And uh, the fifth one uh, being uh, what we call esteem. 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 Shaskia watu na sebanga, we are kona esteem issues. So esteem actually is in three ways. Eh? There is high esteem, mm -hmm. high self-esteem. Eh? Mm -hmm. uh, high self-esteem. There is low self-esteem, then there is healthy self-esteem. Self so high self-esteem, nile you regard yourself higher than mm. anyone else. Mm. Uh, you regard yourself higher mm. than anyone else. Uh, is it a bad thing? It depends. It depends. Yeah. So there yeah, are areas God. where mm. you need to have that high self-esteem. Yeah. Maybe when you act, you may pump a stage. Eh, yeah. upande lazima changamusha watu kabisa. Sababu kiingia tena mpole, watu watajidi watalala. So you have to pump yourself so that you'll be able to face what's ahead of you. So there are some scenarios that requires you to have that high self-esteem. The challenge comes when it now defines you. 
Oh. The challenge, that's where the challenge comes. Mm. So it defines you. You look at yourself higher than mm. everyone else. Mm. So huambiliki na usemezeki. Huambiliki na usemezeki. Then the other one is low self-esteem. Low self-esteem, uh, I struggle to see where it comes out positively, but there are some scenarios it does. Yeah. But low self-esteem is where you view yourself lower than any uh, mm. anything. Mm. So you are given a task, for instance, you are tasked to do this thing, but you look at yourself on a jiliza, mimi naeza equally. You look at yourself low. Mm. That no mimi, eh, siwezi fanya hi, mm. I can't achieve this, yeah. I can't go to this place. Mm. Then there is that healthy self-esteem. Healthy self-esteem is where you have the wisdom mm. to know where to have the high. <laughs> And well, you yeah. have to have the law. Mm, mm. And with esteem, you find that it has made people not achieve Kweli. things in life. Mm. Una jipata, it has made you fail in interviews. Mm -hmm. It has made you not succeed in your areas of influence. Kweli. It has made you not do things that you could have done. Yeah. Because maybe you looked at, at yourself highly mm -hmm. that people around you, well, you are not someone we can't. Uh, yeah, actually, high yeah. self-esteem leads to pride. Yeah, yeah in a letter yeah, in a kiburi. Yeah. Mm. And when I say manga, pride is like a bad breath. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be the last one to know you to have know it. You have it. Yeah. <laughs> mm. What we're going to ask, yeah, we're going to ask, we're going to ask, we're going to ask, we're going to ask. So it makes you lose, high esteem can make you lose a lot of opportunities. Yes. And lose a lot of people who could have actually opened doors for yeah, you. True. Uh, low self-esteem uh, makes you not fit in certain scenarios. Mali, mali, ambapo watu anatakana waonge, uonge, waonekane, kwa changamufu, wewe sasa uko. Sasa unatakana uwe labda kwa kanisa, kama kwa ibade hivi, mali ambapo watu anatakana watembe, kwa hile unyenyekevu na mambo kama hayo. Hapo hivu utafanya kazi. So inakufanya, you actually lose out in opportunities yes. and in connections mm. because you don't come out. How do you How funny? Anything? So it has actually defined who you are. Yeah. And ukiangalia esteem, eh? self-esteem, mostly it has. There is something behind it. Yeah. Okay. Maybe there is something that you need to deal with. Mm. There is an experience that you went through yeah. uh, in life that you need to deal with. Mm. Uh, there is uh, something that maybe you failed before. Yes that now has made you have that low self-esteem mm. or there's an experience that you went the only way you came out of is through high self-esteem self so you've thought that that is the only way to open doors for you mm. and for this one we tell people you need to come to a level yeah. ground yeah. where you actually don't react you don't react yeah but act you act mm. by acting is you do the right thing yeah. by reacting is you are prompted, you are pushed on a wall, mm. so you become someone else. Actually, people should not make decisions out of being pushed, pushed to, to be it. someone else. Mm. Be you, be the best version of you. If you can't do it, learn from it. Learn from it yeah. Become the best mm. next time. So don't push yourself so high. We have people who've actually exaggerated even their CVs. Unaingia uh kazi. -huh. Only your CV talks of you up here, mm. but what you deliver is down here. Down here. Mm -hmm. So you give yourself that environment that actually I'm not good at this, yes. but I can learn. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, Asante. Mm. That's a very important uh, uh, building block, your self esteem. Motu wengi, uh, ni mona wakiwa wale watu viherehere. Mm. Waneka kiherehere ata mali itakikani. <laughs> yeah. I have, I have respect. Sisebi ati kuwa kiherehere ni kitumbaya. Sababu, kama umeenda kwa mkutano wa kisiasa mm, kuna mali inafungua njia inafungua njia yeah. eh, mambo kama hayo mm. lakini kama vile uh, mgeni wetu amesema you need to have a healthy self esteem ni unajua hapa nahitaji kuwa na kiherere yeah. lakini hapa na, natakana kama vile vijana wanasema nicheze chini nicheze chini eh? <laughs> <laughs> aso ukiwa na hiyo healthy uh, self esteem mm. bas wewe uko katika hali ya identity crisis yeah. because you know when to apply. Yeah. Na hiyo ni jambo ambalo you can be able to uh, if you don't know unaweza pata mshauri ambaye ataweza kukupeleka through that and you are able to build it up. Mm. Kama wewe ni mtu mpole you can be able to be told 
when you say no say no mm. sababu ukisema yes na ni no mm. then una, unajiweka kwa kwa hali ambayo inakuwa ni ya shida kwako mm. mm. so you need to be very careful mm. about that yeah. endelea kwa uh, the sixth mm. um, uh, actually with the steam i have a story of a lady who was uh, yes. in church mm-hmm. alikuwa kwa kanisa, ya, kwa kanisa. Mm. ukimangalia ako talented mm. ana kivipawa ah, ana kipawa mm-hmm. lakini uh, ukimwambia aende aimbe hawezi imba ana uoga ana uoga mm-hmm. so anasema hawezi kuna siku nikakuwa na magumzo naye mm-hmm. akaniambia kuna time when alikuwa high school mm-hmm. alisimama kuimba mbele ya watu na alikuwa na homa mm-hmm. akaimba off key yeah. so people booed her so it made her have yeah, low, low, self-esteem. low self-esteem so yeah. kila uh, akijipata ti ameenda mbele watu anakumbuka hilo jambo anakumbuka hilo jambo oh. so that's why i said there are some things you just need to deal with yeah, yeah, yeah. and become the ve- become best version of yourself yeah. Thank you. the, the sixth uh, building block, block mm-hmm. is actually faith mm, imani ya imani mm. imani mm. actually uh, research has shown eh, uh, people mostly act based on their faith Uh-huh. We have I know of quite a number of Muslims. They give mm-hmm. not just be, not because they are givers. <laughs> <laughs> But their faith oh, is yeah, yeah. to do so. Their faith is yeah, to do very, so. Yeah, very faithful and yeah. waaminifu sana. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what what do you believe? Lakini sababu imani yao inashabikia mambo ya sawa naifanya. Wow. So actually people need to be sensitive to their faith. Yes. And if you of uh, of that faith eh, what do they practice and do you practice it yeah. because actually it defines who you are mm. it defines who you are yes. so uh, some faith pushes you to be this type of character mm. this type of character yeah. so faith plays a big role uh, in you defining Uh, who you okay. are mm-hmm. and for us christians actually we believe that the christian faith the more you walk with god, god yeah. the more he shapes you yes the more he shapes your character sure. the more he places you in different areas mm-hmm. uh, like that potter's house unafinyangwa unafinyangwa ni jinsi utakavyo yeah mm-hmm. then you become this better version okay. of yourself Kweli. so actually faith the mm. aspect the Inna god plays a big aspect Rod. actually because he's the one who created us okay. yeah. uh, scripture says that he knew us yeah. before even we were we in our mother's womb yeah mm. so he's the best person wow. who knows what we who we truly are okay. who knows our space yeah. uh, uh, in this land of the living wow yeah so asante sana uh, mm. ndugu barak mm. kwa kuweza ku kutuelezea hizo those six blocks mm na najua zimekuwa ni za baraka na umepata mfano mzuri sana this that lady sababu ya that that one incident mm. ambao alisimama kwa shule na akaimba ofki na watu wakamchekelea mm. ilimfanya asiweze kuhitimisha kipawa chake cha uimbaji mm. lakini wakati alipozungumziwa mm. basi akaweza kuondoka katika hiyo hali ya kuwa uh, mdhaifu na akaweza kushabikia karama yake mm. na akaanza kuimba na sasa nadhania ana nadhania ni kiongozi wa mm. kikundi cha prison worship mm. pale kanisani mm. so tumefunishwa vizuri sana kuhusu identity crisis na nazungumza na mtu ambaye yuko hapo iwe wewe ni mzazi uko na mtoto ama ni wewe mwenyewe pia labda you in a relationship na unaona relationship hii inaumia sababu ya hizo blocks ambazo tumezizu tumezungumzia na zile mifano ambazo ndugu yetu aliweza kutupatia badilisha mm. and your relationship will change and it will be for the betterment na imani kama wewe ha imani yako ni dhaifu unapewa nafasi uweze kuwa na uhusiano na Mwenyezi Mungu a relationship with God having faith like our brother amepeana mfano mzuri sana mandugu zetu wa waislamu wa ya kwamba wanatoa na wengine hutoa sababu vya vile imani yao inawaambia. Mm. Wengine hata hawajui kutoa. Lakini sababu imani yao imewatolea na maandiko na kwanza kwa maandiko inasema yule ambaye anatolea ambao ni wadhaifu huoni kama ameweka hazina kwake Mwenyezi Mungu. Mm. Na unaona wanabarikiwa. 
lakini sisi wa Kristo tunajua hivyo lakini hatutoi. <laughs> <laughs> kwa hivyo labda we ubarikiwi sababu hautoi. Mm. Hebu mjaribu mwenyewe amesema kwa kwa maandiko kwamba hebu nijaribini. Mm. Kwa hivyo tumjaribu imani ni muhimu sana. Tuweze kuona kwamba mambo yetu itabadilika na we'll be able to come out of the identity crisis that we are in and be able to move on. Labda mwingine anasema hapo Bazu na Barak mmezungumza vizuri na tumewasikiza vizuri sana. We want to thank you for bado mmesalia katika uh, Ezra Christian TV. Now we want to handle that person ambaye tayari mambo imeharibika. But he wants or she wants to now open a new leaf and get out of that identity crisis. Our brother here will be able to take us through and see indeed I have been hurting for many years. May this program be able to turn you around. How come I'll pick Don't touch that dial. He ni Ohega Otore Ezra Christian TV. Karibu. Asante. Thank you very much. Ya yeah, labda as you are saying, kuna mtu wako hapo anajiangalia anasema mimi already mm. appearance imesha ni defined. Mm. My background has defined me. I have these wrong friends. Mm. Uh, I've never accepted my design. True. Uh, I have esteem issues. issues. Mm and uh, i've never been this person of faith mm -hmm. or my faith has led me this way yeah. i was in this mm -hmm. funny church mm -hmm. made me do these things, things yeah. uh, what you always say i love the prayer of serenity mm -hmm. the serenity prayer says that god give me the serenity mm -hmm. to accept the things that i cannot I change think, yeah. to change the, the things, things that i can change and the wisdom to know the difference mm -hmm. <laughs> so that you don't change Very the powerful. things that you mm -hmm. need not to change yeah. Uh, I think the solution to this uh, bazoo mm. is number one, accept. Uh, Julize, what are the things that I just need to accept? Mm. There's something I cannot do about it. And some of these things in, mostly is not in their background. You, you have no control. Yeah. Mm. You cannot change who your father is. Yes. You cannot change the family you are born to. You cannot change how you look. Mm. You cannot change your, uh, how you appear. You cannot change uh, certain things about you, mm -hmm. where you came from, uh, the things that you went through, those experiences, yes. the negative things that happened to you. Mm -hmm. Those are the things that you just need to accept. Just come to a space where you brought yourself one as a manga jite kumkutano. Where we went your chairperson, we went secretary, we went to Kila kitu he. Jite kwa yom kutano. And uh, jite jiambie, uh, we always tell people, you can write them down. Mm -hmm. What are the things that have happened to you that hurt you so much? Ziandike chini. Mm -hmm. Na ukisha ziandika, angalia useme, for this and this, I just accept. Mm -hmm. yeah. It happened. Mm -hmm. Forgive yourself. Yes. Forgive if you need to forgive and just accept this happened but now this is who i choose mm. to be I need to turn the first thing is accept yeah accepting. what what is it that you need to accept yeah. mm. what is it that you need to is accept is it the background accept mm. and, and the process of acceptance sometimes pushes us to have people that will work with us yes. yeah. and that is the space of the church that mm. is the space of the counselors mm. that people that you can just talk to mm. and release this happened to me. Mm. This is how I used to view myself. Mm. These are the things that I've gone through. Mm. Please help me just comprehend these things in my mind yes. and just be in a space where I've accepted. Mm. The second thing after acceptance is let go. Let go, yeah. Let go. There are some things that you just need to let go. Mm. The more you hold on to them, the more they define who you are. And the more they hurt you yes. and the more worse you become. become yeah. mm. For example, if you use a story of maybe a lady who was raped, yes. someone who went through hurt in their family, mm. someone who there is something that went wrong, a business go wrong mm. or something, that you've been holding on to it. Mm. But the question is, by you holding on to it, does it solve it? Yeah. Does it solve it? Mm. After I've accepting, yes, I've accepted. Yes. This happened to me. This happened to you. There are some things that you just need to let go. True. Mm. Just let go. Let go, yeah. Say, mahi ni meyachilia. Mm. Forgive. Ni mm. uh, We always, there is this activity that people are asked. You can just call that person. Yeah. Mwambi, by the way, ule nifanya A, B, C, D. 
this is how I felt, this is how it has affected me. From today I've forgiven you. Yeah. And you see forgiveness, we always say, should be away for you after you've forgiven. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if that person has taken, accepted that forgiveness. Yeah. You know, it's one thing to forgive and it's another thing for the other person, the person to accept. To accept yeah. So we place people in a position where you only deal with that which you're in control of. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're in control of forgiving. forgiving yeah. so Whether forgive. that person accepts mm -hmm. that forgiveness is up to them. It's up to them, yeah. So letting go is you just doing your part. Yeah. This is what I do. True. You know, sometimes you can forgive some people, but you don't know what you're doing. Then it takes you back to your Egypt. You don't know what you're doing. You don't know what you're doing. You don't know what you're doing. Your role ends mm. at you releasing. True. Mm. Whatever that other person does, it's up to them. Let go. Mm. And the last and most important thing is let God. Let God, yeah. So accept. Let, let go, go and let go. Let God. Mm. There are some Alika Mungu kwa hilo yeah. jambo. Mm. Kuna some healing that it is only God who can be able who to can come. Mm. Scripture says that he heals the broken hearted. So there are some broken hearts mm. that's only God that can heal. That yeah. can heal. Mm. So are you in that space where yes you've accepted mm. but bado you may in a way down. Yeah. You've let go. Yeah. But Every time you see that person, it reminds you. Mm. Every time you're in that environment, it takes you back. To that. You just you need to now let God. Mm. Allow God to just come and move in. Mm. Allow God to just come and give you that healing. Yeah. To come and cleanse you. True. To come and move mm. in your life in ways that man could not, you yourself could not. Yeah. And letting God is that space where you just see that I've tried yeah. my own. Mm. But now I just bring it back to you, God, to come and take charge. Hapo ndi yu sasa. Hapo ndi yu sasa imani na ingilia. Ingilia kwa uzito kabisa. You come and just move. Let us not allow these negative things that have defined us to make us live, continue living as those people that we are not. You are better than that. God created you to be more than that. True. Accept those you need to accept. Yes. Let go those you need to let go. And let, let God, God come in and inter come in, intervene, yeah. intervene and move. Mm. Because that's his business. Actually, the business of God is coming in and moving. <laughs> and moving <yeah. laughs> true, that's true. what he does best. Yeah, right? yeah. You allow him to come, mm. move in your life mm. and make you become that best version of yourself. Version, Actually, yeah. God mm. has a lot in store for you. Sometimes Good. you might live mm. and think you've done a lot until God comes in. Comes in, yeah, yeah changes your destiny. Mm. I think if you look at maybe scripture, someone like Moses felt he had done. Yeah. Yeah, all, all. He had done, he had lived it all. Yeah, yes. Until God came, came in, yeah. and, and gave, gave him a fresh assignment yeah. that he had to start from mm. scratch. Yeah, so maybe in that verge you feel, mm. I'm so wasted. Mm. I've done so negative things. Uh, I've been hurt this way. Yeah. You feel that you are done. True. Just try. Mm. Let God. Yeah, yeah. He comes and redefines who you are True. and gives you a clear direction. True. And what are the, some of the practical ways yeah. to do these things? Mm. Best practical ways to do these things is to plug in. Eh? What do you plug in? Plug into programs that will help you deal with these issues. Some of our programs do that. And as I just shared, you can look for us at Transform Nations mm. in all social media platforms or call me with the number I shared. We'll link you. Uh, plug into a program that will actually help you walk through these processes. Yeah. Some of our programs, people came in and gave testimonies of this is the person I came okay, in yeah. with. These are the things I learned and this is the person I'm living, yeah. having become. Mm -hmm. So plug into a program, be it in your church, be it in your community, that will make you deal with those issues. Yeah. You see, mm -hmm. after you've plugged into those programs, they make you look at these things differently and how you handle things mm -hmm. uh, differently. Those are the, some of the practical ways. Another thing, you, you can look for a counselor to work with you, to help you deal mm -hmm. with those issues yep. uh, that you've actually uh, gone through in life, yeah. to help you deal with how you've been looking at yourself mm -hmm. uh, so that you look at yourself I differently. Different and above all, uh, find a space in God, in, God. Uh, a in right faith, church. a right church, be a person of faith, accept Christ, mm. and have him deal in your life, your life yeah. to make you become a better person. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So there is hope, mm. there is a chance, Tonight and there is a way. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Umezungumza vizuri sana, Ndugu Barak. 
and I'm talking to a person out there. Maybe there's a, a man who's in a, in a, he's, he's in, a, in his own family. And he's having challenges because he never had a father figure. Mm. There's still a light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, sure. Bado kuna maisha ambao unaweza ongoza kijana yako. Mm. Maybe I'm talking to a lady. Something happened to you when you were young. And it's affecting your relationship. And you are fearful of counselors. We are there to help you out. So that you'll be able to turn around. God wants that marriage. Kuna watu analia wakue na mume. Wuko tiari na mume. But you're having problems in that marriage. Mm. You can be able to turn it around. Yeah, Maybe you're going through an identity crisis. And our guest here has, ameongea mambo mazuri sana. Kwamba, there are practical ways that you can be able to turn around. Mm. There are those programs that they have. There are counselors that you can be able to meet. Or even you can have somebody you can, an accountable partner. Mm. Eh, you can partner with us and we can be able to talk to you and walk with you that journey. Mm. And lastly, they've said, join a church, a good church, whereby they are preaching God in spirit and in truth. Mm. That will be able to turn you around. It is a kukubadilisha na uanze kuishi maisha. Uanze kujihisi kana kwamba you're living in a life that is worth. So usikae hapo ukisema umefika mwisho. If it's business you've been feeling like you would want to get in business. Labda umejaribu biashara mingi. You need to turn around. Labda wale watu natembea nao they are not the right person. Mm. Get to that person who will be able to help you out and be able to to reach that destiny. Just like he said there is hope. You who sulking umekaa hapo unajihurumia unasema oh tu oh yeah oh yeah. Hapana <laughs> malize hizo mao oh yeah. Uanze kusema haleluya bwana asibiwe. <laughs> Mambo imebadili? Imebadilika. Mambo imebadilika. Yeah, sure. Because there is a turn. And that's why this program in Ezra Christian TV. He show ya ohega ture. Ohega is learn. Elewa. Elewa ukweli wa mambo vile iko mm. and you will be able to turn around. Yeah, sure. We thank you na usibadilishe hiyo uh, don't touch that dial. Usibadilishe hiyo mitambo sababu bado mambo iko mazito ambao ndugu yetu atakuja kumalizia ili tuweza kuelewa kwamba our fate our destiny is still there and I always stand with the words of Jeremiah 29:11 that God has a good plan for you Amen. not to harm not to harm you mm, to but prosper to prosper you, you. Mm-hmm. karibu thank you yeah thank you very much brother mm. thank you for this opportunity yeah. and uh, we uh, want to see people becoming better versions of themselves yeah, yeah. may god bless you and may god make you mm. that person that he created you to be yes. thank you thank you so much uh, i'll go through those maybe you would have gone through those six mm. building blocks wale ambao wameingia kuchelewa okay uh, waweze kuelewa that don't identify yourself Usi kuna watu wanasemaga ah mimi vile mimi ni mweupe yeah. ah mimi nimetosha mboga <laughs> ah bana yeah. labda mimi background yangu mimi nimetoka kwa background mbaya mm. kweli ndeza uh, kuibuka kuwa hata maybe rubani mambo kama ama, ama engineer mm. elewa kwamba you can still make it mm. just go over through those six blocks na ndio tuelewe ule ambaye anatutazama mm. elewa kwamba if you have been pegging your identity on this where you're going wrong mm. you need to turn around yeah, sure. and be able to start a new leaf yeah getting out of that identity crisis we are living in a very fast world na mara mingi we sometimes believe what others are telling us mm. but that's not what we are made of mm. welcome brother Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so actually the uh, building blocks of identity are things that people have allowed uh, to define themselves or they have made uh, them define who they are and mostly we find that actually they are not people are better uh, than this they said the first one was appearance why we are telling ourselves that actually some of us define ourselves be, by how we look uh, you find uh, 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 you find power or you find uh, courage based on how you look we are not saying that it's not a good thing Yes, it is a good thing, but actually you should not limit your definition to that because that's not actually not who you, uh, that's not the only thing that defines who you are. You are better than that. You see appearance changes. We become old, we lose some attributes in our body. Uh, God forbid you can fall into uh, get into some accidents. We get uh, our body get damaged in different areas. So if for you you are finding uh, you are defining yourself 
through that, you can find yourself in a space that now you're in a crisis. Because that which you used to look up to, to make you become you, no longer exists. Or sometimes in a negative way, uh, you don't like how you look at, uh, how you don't like some attributes about your body. So you made it be a way where you define yourself through it. So you don't achieve some things, you don't come out to be who you are because you look down upon yourself based on how you look at. So we're just telling ourselves that you're more than that. You're more than that. The second thing was background. Uh, we've come from diverse backgrounds. We've gone through things. There are some experiences that we've had. We've had issues in our extended families. We've gone through some mis misfortunes in life. We've gone through bad experiences. Some of us have have bad things done to us in the past. People have spoken negative words about us that have defined who we are. So you're coming to this place where you're just telling ourselves that your background actually has nothing to do with where you're going. You need to rise up. Those things that you need to accept, accept. Those things that you need to live. Live and just focus on being who you are. Yes, you, they went, you went through those things. Yes, you faced those things that you faced, but you are more than that. You are more than that. That's just your background. Actually, I like the word background has back. Yeah, back. Yeah. So that's where you are coming from. <laughs> that is where you are going. Mm. Then we are saying again, community, we need to have the right people around us. And we have power yeah. to do this because you choose your friends. Yeah. You choose the people that you hang out with. They choose people that define you. Because if you have wrong people around you, you'll find yourself that they're defining you negatively, making you do the wrong things. You're getting pressure yeah. to do negative things that actually, that's not who you are. You are more than that. So have the right people. Uh, we say destiny enhancers. Eh? Yeah. Have mm. destiny enhancers. People will push you toward what God designed you to be. Then uh, the fourth one actually is the word that I've used, design. Eh? Uh, we need to understand that we are designed differently. We have different attributes. So if you find yourself in a space where you are the only person who's not liking what other people are liking, there's nothing wrong with you. If you find yourself in a space that you only have, you're the only person with a different personality, from other people there's nothing wrong with you we have different tests you have different preferences and that's how god created us to be that's who we are and sometimes these tests and preferences are from how we've grown up things that we've experienced in life mm -hmm. so that's who you are mm -hmm. you are uniquely designed by god to be yes. who you are so accept this is who you are and live life as you are and the fourth one is just esteem where we are saying we have these different three different yeah. types of esteem mm -hmm. high esteem low self-esteem and healthy. So we say high self-esteem actually can lead to pride. Mm -hmm. It's where you look at yourself highly yeah. than who you truly are. There's instances where we say you need that high self-esteem. Low self-esteem is where you look at yourself lower than who you actually are. Mm -hmm. Then healthy is where you have the wisdom to know the difference. Yeah. Eh? <laughs> so yeah. we are saying know the scenarios where to use either but don't allow yourself to look highly above who you are mm -hmm. to a point where you're living a, a lie. Yeah. You're living a lie. Low self-esteem, you're looking at yourself lowly. Mm -hmm. Where you can't achieve certain yeah. things in life because you are actually it's now a level of timidity. timidity you yeah. can't come out and be the best version of yourself. Come out. Know the difference. Be the be best version of yourself. Okay. And in F, faith, we are saying actually... The six building blocks mm. are A, B, C, D, E, F. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh. The fifth, the sixth one is actually faith. They are mm. saying uh, be in the right church. Mm. Have the right doctrine. Because actually it will shape who you are. Don't believe in things that will make you be a very different person. Mm. Believe, have uh, things, a Bible reading church mm. that will make you become the best version of yourself. Yeah. And we are telling ourselves uh, as we are concluding that Yes, we've gone through all these things. You need to come to a space where you accept the things that you need to yeah. accept. You let go mm. and you let God yes. come. And wow. Move. Thank you so much, Barak, even for coming to visit us and mm. even bringing those insights. Yani, umeza kuelezea kwa ufasaha sana. Na na wingo matumaini yule amba amekua kitu tazama. Awe ni mzazi, awe ni mtu binafsi, awe kwa ndoa ama kuongoza, ameelewa kwamba kumbe hii ndio imekuwa kasoro ambao nimekuwa nayo 
na ndio sababu nimekuwa na changamoto kubwa sana za uongozi ya katika ndoa mm. hata na malezi yeah. lakini sasa tumepata suluhu we've got mm. a solution to this challenge mm. those who are watching us in nakuru even in the us and even here in kenya think all those areas we want we brought a solution to you and we want to thank the Ezra Christian TV for giving us this opportunity to be able to reach other persons and through kwa kwa isho yetu ambaye inaitwa Ohega Oture that it's through wisdom that we are imparting to you you can be able to start a new life mm. and like Barak said we can be able to now change from the identity crisis that we had and be able to live a life that is full umekuwa ukingangana sasa hivi umepata suluhu that person who has not been seeing a counselor can now be able to now take a step of faith and we have counselors even in our churches ukienda kwa makanisa utapata watu ambao wanatoa hizi huduma za ushauri na saha kwa bure tu and you can be able now to get out of the challenge that you are in i'm talking to a person who labda kwa ndoa hata kwa kazi you know when in our first show we had talked about mtu ambaye alikuwa ni mpole kwa kazi lakini siku moja alichelewa na alichelewa labda kipeleka mtoto shule kama sasa hivi watoto wanapelekwa shule na vile aliulizwa tu ni boss wake akakasirika na akasema tai kazi ndeza acha akaambi basi wacha na ilikuwa ndivyo hivyo akaanza ikaanza chanzo cha changamoto so we want to thank you so much kwa kwa, kwa Ezra TV i want to thank my producer Nick my programmer Sa Edward my producer Ann na zaidi uh, mom uh, pastor Naomi even for giving us this opportunity to be able and for you the viewer it's because we are here because of you and we want to thank you so much tunashukuru tunashukuru sana kwa vile ambavyo mmeweza kuwa katika Ezra Christian TV wale ambao wameingia kuchelewa tunataka kuwaelezea kwamba tuko katika YouTube tuko katika Facebook na na pia hata social media platforms zingine kama au kusikiza issue vizuri you are welcome to join us hata kuangalia kwa youtube ili uweze kufuatilia na uweze kujua na kama vile amesema hizo building blocks ni a b c d e f mm. eh akimalizia na faith na akianzia na a appearance ambao alisema ni appearance vile unakaa watu wengine wanapenda ku wanapenda kuwa weupe ndio weupe ni uzuri lakini iko mali pengine <laughs> weupe hautoshi mboga na unaweza kushikilia alafu ubadilike na sasa utafanya namna gani so check out those abcdf na ukitutembelea tutaweza kuona hizo shows yani utaweza kuelewa vile ambavyo tuliweza uh, kuelezea na ndio uweze kubadilika huyu ni bazu katika show ya Ohega Utore Ezra Christian TV looking forward to seeing you next time ambapo tutakuwa na mgeni mwingine ambaye atakuja kutuzungumzia mambo ambayo yatatufanya tuelewe bayana jinsi ambavyo tunafaa kuishi tunataka kumshokeria gazo ni ndo wangu karameta boyne na kugate show eno ne ohega otore na ne turamunyi toge ni next time rera tukarehe mugeni ogi uri ogututara na tuhigie niguo tuhote gutura na ajire ya girire gai wa moya murathime na amutorie thini wawe gawake asanti sana